Developing this morning for the second time this week, a young girl is shot. The latest victim, just four years old. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live outside Stroger Hospital, where she's being treated this morning. Hi, Mike. Hi, and at last check, she was in stable condition here in the emergency room. That after she was transferred here from Little Company of Mary Hospital in Evergreen Park. Now, she was driven to Little Company in this minivan last night, shortly after 7.30. Police used flashlights to scan the vehicle for evidence. The child was shot in her shoulder as she was standing on a porch with family members. That's when police say a dark-colored sedan pulled up and someone inside opened fire. Police say one of the child's family members is known to police and may have been the intended target. So far, there have been no arrests in the case. Neighbors are understandably horrified. It's just heart-wrenching. It takes my breath away, especially when it's babies. Because I see these babies every day going to Mahalia, mm -hmm. going to school. They talk to me. Now, on Sunday afternoon, a five-year-old girl was shot in her ankle after she was caught in crossfire in Albany Park. That child also remains hospitalized this morning. So far, there have been no arrests in that case either. But in a tweet, police say they are making good progress in this case, and they continue to push forward with the investigation. Again, it was about five shots the neighbors reported hearing that rang out last night at around 7.30 at 88th and Carpenter. Reporting live outside the emergency room at Stroger, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron, Marissa. Mike, thank you.